Bitcoin, we start with weekly chart. Just I want to give a quick update. And if you refer to our analysis, we mentioned that we want to see whether we can put this one in relative to what we have here as a flat for the next drop before we look for the reversal as a long term. Okay, that's why I mentioned for me, my opinion is if I want to look for the long term, I prefer the price break the lowest price of this correction because mostly if the price could break, we can uh, see the price drop quite sharp. And we can expect the price drop to somewhere around 14,600, flowing by somewhere around 10,000. All right. That's why if anyone wants to look for buy, they need to be quite careful. And even if the price reverses from here, we do the breakout of the lowest price of this correction, any opportunity for buy will be short. And because we can expect this one turn to a flat in relative to what we have here. By the way, we can expect the price to consolidate here for a longer time before we look for the reversal. Because if we refer to our analysis, since the price was within this down move, I mentioned, since the price have break the previous stop, if the price could break the previous low, then this will attempt to expanding. And mostly, whenever we have expanding flat, the last wave will be, uh, the price will be within the last wave for longer time before we see the reversal. That's mean we can expect the price to consolidate here for a really long time before we see the reversal to break the all-time high, okay? That's why if anyone wants to look for buy, they have to wait for the confirmation, mostly if they want to look for the long-term trade. And if we move to lower time frame, we have nothing to discuss. And as we can, the price tag a few times tag the lowest price of this correction. That's why if there is a breakout, we can expect the price drop quite sharp. We are not really interested to look for sell. We're looking for buy. Again, if the price reverse, we do the breakout of the lowest price of this correction, mostly any opportunity for buy will be within this range because we can expect this one turn to at least three wave structure. Okay. But based on daily chart, we don't have any trade setup. And even if we move to lower time frame, we move to forward chart. If anyone wants to look for this one as a correction relative to what we have here, then we can look for the short term trade. I think if we move to lower time frame, one hour chart, it will be more clear. And even if anyone wants to look for buy, and if they want to consider this one as a correction relative to what we have here, as long as the price haven't break 18,900, still we can look for trade. And any opportunity for buy from here, the short term targets we can look for is 2450 following by 21050, 21050, somewhere around 21k. Okay, then from there, we want to see whether the price can break this zone or not. How to look for trade? There is no trade setup. It depends on the strategy the traders that are using. But either we look for the short move flag, we take the trade, or having a trip of this also can be an option. But we need to be quite careful that the price can simply tag and drop. If the price tag uh, within the first hour, we see there is no continuation, we should take out the trade. Having a trip of this is really risky. Again, it depends on the strategy the traders they're using. But it's not a really good trade setup. But if you get any opportunity for buy, will be a short-term trade. And for me, as I mentioned, I'm looking for the long-term. And if I move again, move to daily chart, I want to see the breakout of the lowest price of this correction to conform with the divergence before I take the trade as a long-term. Rather than that, any trade will be a short-term. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, then I will share. Thanks.